We're on easy street And it feels so sweet Cause the world is but a treat When you're on easy street Welcome to the Easy Street Radio Show Hosted by Rob Scribner Grab a cup of coffee and let's get started This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags Available on Amazon right now Hey guys, welcome to Easy Street. I have a question for you. And I, really, I want you guys to leave comments down below. But uh, uh, this is something I've brought up before in uh, some of my prior shows. And also Marfugel has brought it up and other folks too. And uh, the question is, does something not feel right to you guys? I mean, I mean, obviously we got this virus thing going on and stuff, but really, does it something not feel right? So there's two kinds of folks out there. There's kind of like folks that are, you might say, um, uh, have faith, who understand the Bible and its uh, explanation of things going on. And then there's atheists and other believers out there that um, uh, they feel something's not right but they can't explain it where folks of faith think they might have an explanation but there's so much going on it's insane um let's talk about food right now now by now you would think some of our supermarkets and stuff would recover a little better but there's a, a guy i'm uh, been following who's been reporting how much uh, food is being wasted or can't be delivered. For example, eggs are getting, uh, they're having trouble with getting eggs in UK because, not because they're low on eggs, but there's no cartons to put them in because the companies that make the cartons are out of, uh, not working. Beef and poultry and um, all kinds of, of things. It was, uh, there's a report right now of a company that's dumped thousands of thousands of tons of, of uh, onions because they can't deliver them um, because think about this for me it's kind of like a highway <laughs> it uh, all of our food goes out to the grocery stores on a regular basis but all of our restaurants are shut down while all the um, distribution centers that handle restaurants and stuff like that well, they're closed, they're not ordering produce. So now, uh, you know, companies that may have 300 trucks going out a month may only be having 100 going out. And now they got a surplus of food and a lot of this food won't keep and they're just dumping it. And we're having food shortages because not necessarily because we don't have the food, it can't be processed, can't be stored or the um the in-between companies that support it or take the delivery of it are closed. So when you're ramped up to be pumping out all this kind of uh, food for normal operations and three quarters of all operations stop, uh, what, do you, 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 what do you do with it all? And in a lot of food, they can't even give it away because of uh, rules and regulations. And it's like, at this particular point and this kind of stuff, some of these rules and regulations need to be thrown out the door or suspended for a couple of months so we could get food, this extra food out that's just being thrown away. There's dairy farms literally dumping out their milk. And it's like, how can the government look us straight in the eye and realize this kind of stuff's going on without addressing it another example is is okay uh, oil and gas and oil if the dispute between um, Saudi Arabia and Russia over price gouging and lowering prices and and our, why don't we just stop importing their oil and just insist on using our own before our shale and oil companies go under and go bankrupt why don't they see that? And um, are we going to learn from this at all? We, uh, you know, 90% of a lot of our 
drugs and things like that are made outside this country, obviously one, one in particular, are we going to learn that, yeah, maybe some of us don't really mind spending a little more for our prescriptions and stuff, as long as our prescriptions are here and our safety equipment is built here. I'd rather spend a little more money, don't you think? But there's more. It's like uh, this combination of this virus and then a combination of the earthquakes and the combination of weird weather and strange phenomenons. It's just all over the place. And I'm asking you, are you feeling an uneasiness? Do you feel something is not right? Is something just not right? And you can't put your finger on it because people are acting weird. Governments are acting weird. How can you shut down entire countries and think you're going to survive after this without hurting thousands of businesses and, 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 and rationalize this where you look at the numbers of this virus is not making sense compared to other types of uh, diseases like this. We're not making these kind of steps um, for them and the, the loss of people and death is much higher. So, uh, I ask you again in the comments, do you feel something's not right? And if so, what do you think it is? Do you think it's a conspiracy? Do you think it's government? Do you think it's uh, end of days? Do you think it's religious or faith? Can you feel this strange phenomenon? Or am I just making this up? Do I, I am I? But I keep hearing time and time again from several people that they feel like something is not right. Or a chain of events is starting to happen that with those of us with faith realize there's reasons and possibilities that something bigger is going to happen. And then some of these really strange decisions are making. Um, do we have maybe some kind of strange phenomenon that might be happening to us that they know about and maybe they want us to be at home? Maybe are they using this virus as a tool, an opportunity? What's your thoughts? What do you think down below in the comments? I'd love to hear your opinion on this. It just doesn't seem like we're in balance. And, and I'm not just saying in just the United States, it's worldwide. We're not alone doing this. This isn't the only country going through this. And of course, then there's the economy. There's how can all this be going on in the stock market going up? When you know, we're shooting for 15, 20, up to 30% unemployment as we go here. Businesses shut down, no money being made in a lot of cases. Entire corporations, Boeing, companies like that, dead in the water. And these stock markets going up? That doesn't seem right to me. Does it seem right to you? Is there something going on? Does is this something that they want to have happen or not? Maybe it's, I mean, I don't want to be a conspiracy theory person, but it, something or some things, or there's a whole lot of things that just seems suspicious, seems kind of odd. What's your thoughts? Please take the time and leave comments below. You know, when the time comes, you have Ranger Rob poopy bags. They're strong, they're wider, they're deeper, and can handle the job. Available at Amazon with free shipping. Well, just a big change in the subject here. Big news for the German Shepherd puppy. She has gone from, right here, 
floppy ears. Aren't those adorable? Two pointy ears. Isn't that adorable? That just happened in like the last couple of days. It was like overnight. Just thought I'd show you a little cuteness and a little pointy eared madness. Let's move on. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today on Easy Street, uh, doing another short show. Um, we've had little changes going on. We are not um, putting this show on Good Talk Radio anymore because uh, because of the coronavirus, we're actually turn, uh, sh stopping uh, Good Talk Radio. It's kind of a sad thing, but it's all kind of like what makes sense and what doesn't. So uh, for common sense and, and expenses and things like that, um, after almost three years of having Good Talk Radio, we're shutting her down. Uh, all the normal podcasts and stuff that we have will, will keep going. But uh, times change, and with the business the way it is and stuff, it's things you want to, you know, you got to streamline what you do. And that was one of them. So it was kind of sad for us. But uh, at the same time, we have tons of shows that we're doing and uh, doesn't hinder us whatsoever. Uh, actually puts more money in the coffers. Uh, please don't forget to pick up your Ranger Wild Poopy Bags. Uh, that helps our show. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe. And uh, I love to hear your comments about what we've been talking about on this particular show. So, guys, have a great day. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.